relax and get comfortable. Close your eyes and take three deep breaths. You're standing on the path outside of your home. Once again, night has descended and you find yourself staring up at the stars. You had a dream, a dream that instructed you to hike into the woods to a clearing where you once picnicked during the summer. The leaves are shivering on the trees. Autumn makes its blustery sweep into town. And remember, tonight is Sam Hain E, the night of the ancestors. You've been so wrapped up in your work. You had forgotten until now. It's too late to gather with friends. Surely, they filled their circles by now. And so, you decide to follow your dream through. See what happens. Children are out for All Hallows' Eve. And as you walk briskly along the streets, you think about how little they understand what they are celebrating. So many of the old ways have been lost. So much knowledge repressed or destroyed. A little girl dressed as a skeleton runs by, and you get goosebumps. During the past few months, you've done your best to eliminate superfluous activity and wasteful habits. You've tended to that which is most important in your life. Your health, your work, your spirituality, and those dearest to your heart. You've let go of those things that have pulled you away from your path. Now, it feels as if you're ready to make a leap, a jump in your evolution. But you aren't sure when or how it should happen. The air is chilly against your skin. You're grateful for the warm jacket and extra blanket that you brought with you. As you pass another group of costumed children, you come to the edge of town. There, where a path leads to a gladed park. No one else appears to be walking this path tonight. You have the entire trail to yourself. There are no lights here, and the moon is far from full. A thin crescent of silver shines warmly above you. With scarcely enough light to guide you along the well-trodden path. In your dream, you crossed into the clearing, and then the vision became fuzzy. Now, as you near the meadow, you begin to anticipate what might be waiting for you on this Samhain Eve. The last of the autumn leaves come whirling off the huge old maples and oaks. As a gust of wind catches them up and sends them spiraling into the air. You reach up to catch one. The burnished leaf crumbles in your hand as you catch hold of it. As you approach the meadow, you hear the sound of drums and beyond the copse of oak. You can see through the barren branches Glimpses of flames crackling in the night. The scent of bonfire smoke comes wisping through the air to surround you. You find yourself curious as to who or what is in the glade. The web of woven branches shakes with the sweeping wind. The gusts keen a shrill dirge as they rush through knot holes and cracks in the tree trunks. Step onto the leaf-scattered forest path. Your heels crunch against the frost-tinged leaves as you navigate the darkened glen. A huckleberry bush sways to your left, and you catch a glimpse of some small animal darting behind a yellowed fern. It might be a fox or a coyote, but it's difficult to tell in this faint light. As you approach the end of the path, where it opens into the clearing, you can smell the rising smoke, and you guess that it comes from Applewood. You quietly step into the shadows surrounding the glen. Circled round the fire stand twelve people. One person wears a black hooded robe, another, a man, wears the hide and antlers of an elk. Still a third is clad in a silver gown, and upon her brow shines a silver crescent headdress. Each person is costumed in a unique fashion, some aboriginal, some neo-pagan, 
all obviously ritual dress. They all look up as you step out from the shadows. The woman in silver steps forward and says, We have been waiting for you. You have come to a turning point. You have reached a time of transition. There is no going back, no stopping the cycle. You must accept that your life is transforming. That change brings with it stability. For only through change can we sweep away stagnation. The shaman motions for you to enter the circle. You can come to us of your own will. If you do not, we will, as instruments of the cycle of the gods, come for you. Step into the circle, where you know in your heart the cycle of transformation can only lead to enlightenment in your life. You should embrace the inevitable rather than resist it. As you step into their midst, two of the others lead you over to one side, where they dress you in ritual garments, representing the transformations now taking place in your life. These robes are different than your usual gear. Take a moment to examine the ritual wear and what it may symbolize for you. When you're ready, the priestess motions you to her side. The silver of her gown sparkles in the bright light of the fire. She loosely binds your hands in front of you with a leather thong and guides you to the fireside. The ritual you are about to undergo will take you deep into yourself, into the core of your being, she says. You will be asked to detach yourself from your fears, to look into the future and divine your coming path. With us, you walk the path of the bat. The bat is a symbol of death and rebirth. The ritual strengthens and tests your endurance. When you emerge from the night, you will be renewed changed and ready for transformation. As she finishes speaking, she steps back and the black hooded figure approaches. You cannot tell whether a man or woman hides beneath the cloak, but they carry a tall sight and the blade glistens in the night. You get a strange feeling from this figure, as if the person behind the robes is far more the stranger here than you. Without a word, they motion for you to follow, and you're led to the other side of the circle. The others part, and you see that behind them a hole has been dug. Four feet deep, as long as your height, it gapes open. A fresh wound in the cool earth, waiting. The hole is lined with a thin blanket and a small pillow. As sure as you know your name, you know what you must do. Step up to the edge and look into the freshly excavated pit. Two men help you into the hole. As you cautiously stretch out, the smell of moist earth thick in your nostrils. You see the priestess standing to one side of the pit, while the shaman takes his place on the other. He's holding a drum and begins to beat out a rhythmic cadence. The other ritual participants drag a large tarp over the opening of the hole. While it in no way interferes with your breathing, now you lay in complete darkness, unable to see anything. You can hear the voice of the priestess as she begins to speak. Her words echo the sound of the drum, reverberating around you in your solitude. Gaia, open your heart to one who comes seeking rebirth. Mother Bear, lead the way into the womb of the earth. Spirits of those who have gone before, ancestors, witches, midwives, call up the magic around that it spin. Transform the paths of our lives into the darkness Alone we must walk. A vision quest for to seek. Strong we must be that we may see. 
how at the world we leap. Listen to the drum beat. As you listen to the drum beat, your breath falls into rhythm with a steady cadence. Let the drum take you deep into your heart and into your soul. Take three deep breaths. In the abyss through which it feels like you've fallen, you begin to see a faint light that hovers above you, pale and shimmering. As you watch it grows, taking shape, and you find yourself staring to the glittering red eyes of a bat. The wings are black, far darker than the night, but they glow with an obsidian sheen, almost metallic. The bat stares down at you, then lands on your chest, crawls up to look into your face. It gently bites you on your brow, where your psychic third eye resides. The teeth are needle-edged and sharp. You barely feel the sting of its nip. With a feather touch, the bat licks your brow and then vanishes. For a moment, you wonder if it was even there. But then you begin to feel dizzy and realize that it injected something under your skin. With alarming clarity, you slip out of your body, through your third eye, go spiraling into the sky. Surrounded by a swirling kaleidoscope of colors, in the center of the spiral, you see yourself as you were when you were a baby. Now watch, see yourself transform through all the important stages of your life. Watch as you grow and change. With each stage, remember how frightening and exciting those changes were. Each time, you wondered if you were doing the right thing, making the right choices. Each time was a new transition rebirth into a new cycle of your life. Watch and remember. Now see yourself as you are today, the sum of all of your changes all your decision. See yourself grow and transform from this time forward. In what potential direction can you see yourself? What might you become? See the possible changes as they affect you and imagine what the outcome might be. Next, think about the current events in your life. What transitions are you in? Do these changes frighten you? Are you worried that you might make the wrong choices? Remember, each step of the way is but one leap of the journey. Even if you should make a wrong decision, you still grow through the experience. For change sweeps away stagnation, which is the true slayer of the soul. Suddenly you feel yourself sliding back into your body, cold and tired. The tarp rolls away, and two of the ritualists pull you out and untie your hands. They shove a cup of hot tea into your hands and throw a blanket around your shoulders as they lead you to the fireside. The priestess sits beside you, and as you warm up, she says, Remember your glorious ability to transform, be reborn within the cycle of life. Remember your strength in doing so. Do not be afraid of changes. Embrace them. Direct. Focus them. 
No one asks you of your experiences, for they all understand just how personal this ritual is. They lead you to the site and help you dress in your regular clothes. Then you're taken to a nearby car where the priestess drives you down the side road into town. When you're in front of your house, she nods goodnight as you enter your door. You are tired, so you pour a handful of aromatic salts into the bath as you fill it with hot water. As you sink into the tub, reflect on what you have learned about yourself tonight. Transformation is a natural part of life. We are reborn many times throughout this life. First as an infant, then into early childhood, then as the growing teen who begins to see the world with different eyes. Remember your first job, your first love. Remember those heartaches, which at the time we thought would haunt you forever, but they're now mellowed and long past. You have the ability to make the most out of your circumstances. Now listen to my voice as I count from 10 to 1. You will awake refreshed and alert. 10, 9, you're becoming awake and aware of your surroundings. 8, 7, 6, hearing the sounds around you. 5, 4, you will be fully alert and fully refreshed. 3, 2, 1. Take three deep breaths, and when you're ready, open your eyes. <laughs>